So this is the library that is going to be torn down and I was really sad that it's being torn down because I would really like to be able to just remediate it and um, use some of the existing walls and whatnot. Um, so the thing with this is I think that having a local architect and engineer team would be a better choice than hiring a firm out of Cleveland. In Stark County, libraries are necessary, they're needed, and they're an essential part of our community. So thank you so much for coming this morning. I'm going to uh, give the board a presentation about why in the world I would be making a recommendation for the storefront. If I were going to recommend to build a new building, it would be for all the reasons that you see on the feedback forms. I mean, I've had at least 40 people contact me um, very much in favor of the library, the purpose of the library, the library as a community asset. Um, it would, I wouldn't need to say anything because they would say it all. Um, I also want to say that you represent, most of the people in this room, and I don't want to make assumptions about how you feel about this issue, but most of the people in this room are representing 18.1% of the Jackson residents who use the library, which equals 32%. Somebody in 32% of the households in Jackson go to the library, have checked something out in the last year. Part of the reason um, for my recommendation to think about the library in a different way is for this, the two-thirds of the households that don't use the library. So how should we be changing? Uh, just like post offices, newspapers have to change, uh, so do libraries. Five years ago when we started thinking about how should we change and grow, when the board brought me on to kind of challenge the status quo and how we've done things forever. Only eight to 12% of our books were checked out. Now what that said was, and if you remember back to those conversations, that meant that up to 92% of our holdings were sitting on a shelf somewhere. So what we said is we're not a book storage company. We're not a research library. How do we stay relevant? Um, a lot of things in our society are changing. These, this will be available, I'm gonna get through a lot of these slides quickly because I don't have a lot of time for the many people who signed up to talk. A lot of people believe in the value of the public library, but only 22% actually do know what's available in the library. And also taking the outreach, uh, library does not have to be all happening in the walls. A new way of thinking about Jackson. You know the due date coming for the Jackson Library decision. I'm not sure if the board knows, I know Tina knows. At that point, we went back to them and said, if that's the case, we're doing a master plan, we're gonna lay you out with the amphitheater, we're gonna redo that whole portion of the parks for activities, library activities, outdoor activities, activities with the kids, kid reads in the parks. Why don't you build right next door Build a new building right next door. We'll give you the land right now. Stay and leave this other building up. Work and use that building. When the new one's open and it's ready to go, slide right over. That means no rent, no shopping center, and one move. That was the offer from the township. I want you all to know that. The answer was we didn't get it. It didn't happen. So I'm hoping before you go on, I don't need to take up. I hope that answers some of your questions. Right. Thanks, Randy. But again, I, I want to emphasize to Randy's to Randy's point. The board is not in a position yet to make any decisions. Whew, that was one heated library meeting. But you know what? There's definitely a paradigm shift that can happen for a library. And people need to be open to changes in our world and not only do things because that's how they were always done. I am here at Lowe's picking out some two by fours and honestly,
the difference between the $3.60 white wood select and the top choice is like insane. Like if this is like straight and clean and pretty and like that is crappy and most of the corners and edges are missing. Very educational here already this morning. So I have started the demolition of the closet and the doorway. Um, the construction of this closet was actually really, really good. Um, I kind of feel bad taking it out, uh, but with that said, the drywall was glued to the studs in addition to all the other like nailing and everything. So I'm working up a sweat. This is definitely my workout for today. <laughs> I'm at the ceiling, baby. <laughs> Headstand.